What's good, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we have a special simulation video in Madden 22. The GOAT Tom Brady has just announced his retirement in real life from the NFL. But today we are going to be finding out what would happen if Tom Brady decided he wanted to play for one more year. He wanted to win one last Super Bowl or at least make an attempt to win a Super Bowl, then right off into the sunset. Real quick, though, I just want to say, can't believe Tom Brady's retiring. I never thought I'd see the day that Brady finally retires from the NFL. Really is the end of an era the goat has retired but if you're excited for this video do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you're new i would greatly appreciate it but without further ado hope you all enjoy the video and let's get it minica watch me on twitch oh i'm streaming i'm on youtube subscribe to the channel red button beaming let's get that sub count take over youtube oh we teaming my content so high oh yeah i'm steaming oh yeah i'm steaming red button beaming so today we are going to find out what would happen if Tom Brady decided he wanted to play one more year in the NFL. He thought about the retirement after announcing it towards the beginning of next season. He came out of retirement, wanted to play one more year, see if he could win one last Super Bowl before riding off into the sunset for his 23rd NFL season. So today we find out what would happen in Madden 22. In this video, he's going to be on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I know there was talks that maybe he would go to the San Francisco 49ers if he played one more year, if they would take him. Obviously, he's not going back to the New England Patriots and any other team just wouldn't make sense so for this video we are going to have Tom Brady back on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and we're pretty much going to take it game by game because it's only a one year season we're going to go game by game here not going to jump in live to any of these games unless Tom Brady makes the playoffs so I do think there is a chance we're going to be jumping in live because the Buccaneers are still a really solid team so I definitely could see them making the playoffs and then we'll definitely jump into some games for Tom Brady's last playoff push to see if he can win the Super Bowl so the first thing we're going to do is simulate to next season we're going to see who they pick up in free agency we're going to check out what the roster is going to look like for tom brady's last season on the tampa bay buccaneers so once that is done we'll see who they drafted we'll see if they re-sign chris godwin we'll see if they get him back tom brady's last year maybe godwin signs one more one-year deal to play with tom brady before he retires and tom brady gonna give himself a farewell tour i know he said he didn't want one but it looks like this is definitely going to be his farewell tour for the nfl so we're going to see what happens i'll let this simulate and i'll come back when it's done so we're just about at the regular season here before we get into week one let's check out the roster who's going to be on tom brady's team do we have chris godwin again do we have leonard fournette did Gronk come back did he retire we are about to find out what the tampa bay buccaneers roster is going to look like so we have brady at a 91 overall here at 45 years of age no more blaine gabber looks like pj walker is going to be the backup and then we have john wolford as well as for the running backs no leonard fournette we have ronald jones Keyshawn vaughn and barry whitting i don't know if that's a real guy in real life looks like he's a rookie in the game so let me know in the comments that's a real guy i never heard of him from college then for the wide receivers we have mike evans back obviously 92 overall but they did not re-sign chris goblin so chris goblin walked away he's on a different team so we have a wide receiver core of mike evans scotty miller cedric wilson tyler johnson and jalen darden so that's what we're going to be looking like. And do we have Gronk back? So they do re-sign Rob Gronkowski. Probably going to be his last year as well as an 88 overall. Cameron Braid is here as well. So no OJ Howard. As for the offensive line, what is Tom Brady looking like here? One of the better offensive lines since Tom Brady has come to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So definitely some change in the offensive line as well. Definitely not as good as it was in prior years, but still pretty decent. Still has Tristan Wirfs here. So we're going to be taking this simulation week by week. Like I said, not jumping into live games until the playoffs, but we're going to see when they win games, when they lose games. We'll check out Tom Brady's stats pretty regularly as well. So week one, they have the Seattle Seahawks. We'll see what happens here. And Tampa Bay loses to Seattle. So they're 0-1 to start the season. Panthers are 1-0. Falcons 0-1. Saints 0-1. Now we got to deal with division rival that have had Tom Brady's number in the division since he came here to Tampa Bay. I don't think he's beat the Saints in the regular season since he's come here. So let's see if he can get a win. 0-2 loses again to the Saints. Not a good last season start for Tom Brady here. 0-2 after two weeks. Now we get the Panthers. Got to beat the Panthers here. Tampa Bay definitely the better team than Carolina. Oh, and three for Tom Brady. Oh, no. This is not the start they wanted. This is not the start they wanted. Now you have to go to Kansas City and play the Kansas City Chiefs in week four to get your first win of the season. One and three. Wow. So they lose to a couple teams they probably should have beaten, and then they beat Kansas City in Kansas City to get their first win of the season. That's very interesting. Okay, let's check out the scores of all these games. So it looks like Tom Brady's putting up a decent amount of points here. 17 was the lowest he's put up in a game so far. The defense, though, has to step up. Allowed 30 points in three of the four first games of the season. And let's check out the stats for Tom Brady. How are we looking? 
How many picks has he thrown? How many touchdowns has he thrown? Let's see what we got going on for Tom Brady right here. Okay, so he's ninth in the league in passing yards, seventh in touchdowns, 26th in passer rating. That's not good. Nine touchdowns out of three interceptions. That's not bad. Over 1,000 yards passing already through four games in the season. How are they running the ball? Ronald Jones, Keyshawn Vaughn, not looking too good on the ground through four games. Only about 200 yards rushing. But maybe the biggest surprise here is Tom Brady at age 45 running for 40 yards. That's pretty unbelievable. Mike Evans doing pretty well through four games of the season. He's on pace for another 1,000-yard season. Scotty Miller stepping up as that wide receiver too. Gronk's doing pretty decently as well. And Cedric Wilson, not bad. They got to pick it up offensively a little bit. And the defense definitely has to play better. So now they get uh, Pittsburgh at home. They're 3-1. and one. TJ Watt, obviously their best player. Then they have a bye. Then they have a tough schedule. They get the Packers and the Rams back to back. So this is a tough stretch right here for Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. This is going to be tough. You got to win two of these three games here if you want to make the playoffs. And they lose the Steelers, and now they have a bye. So no game. Right now, the Falcons, though, are in the lead of the division at 3-2. and two. So there is a chance to make the playoffs as a division leader. But it's going to be tough to have four losses already in the season. Now you have to face Green Bay. That is 5-1 right now. I'm sure Aaron Rodgers is back if they're 5-1 and one at Lambeau Field. And then you have to verse the Los Angeles Rams that have also had Tom Brady's number since he's been in Tampa Bay. What happens against the Packers here? What does Tom Brady do against the Packers? Can Tampa Bay clutch up and get a win? Are we going to get this game simmed? They lose to the Packers 24 to 20. Now it's the four and two Los Angeles Rams. Then they get the Browns and the Cardinals and the Bengals. One of the most difficult schedules in the league. The Falcons are five and two. They lead the division. We're gonna have to check out the Falcons roster at some point because it's looking not good right now for Tom Brady to make the playoffs. They're one and six. They lose to the Rams 38 to seven. This is not going the way I thought it would for Tom Brady's last season, his farewell tour. Maybe he should have stayed in retirement. Maybe he shouldn't have come out of retirement. Defense for the Buccaneers, again, still not playing good. 24 points allowed to the Packers, 27 to the Steelers, 38 to the Rams. They have to be pretty much perfect second half of the season if they want to make the playoffs here at 1-6. Falcons are 5-3, lead the division. Panthers and Saints, not too good. Really, the Falcons have to go on a losing streak, and the Buccaneers have to go on a really big winning streak here, because if they win every game here on out they're only 11 and 6 that's not even that good we'll probably get them in but i don't think it's looking likely for them to do that they have to face the browns this week cardinals the week after the Bengals the week after that and the 49ers the week after that this is the toughest schedule i would say in the nfl just look at all these teams they have to play and now they're one and seven tom brady can't get it done right now we're gonna do one more week to have to face the cardinals and then we're going to check out the stats here for Tom Brady. They finally get a win. They beat the Cardinals 24-17. So right now they are 2-7. Falcons have dropped off a little bit. They lost two in a row as well. So they're 5-4. Panthers are 4-6. Saints are 2-7. There's still a chance at the division right now because they have to face the Falcons. I want to say at least one more time. I don't know if they faced them yet. I forgot who they faced towards the beginning of the season. But Tom Brady, 13th in the league in passing yards. I think he was 12th in touchdowns. And he's 39th in passer rating. That's terrible. 17 touchdowns to 12 in a reception 61 percent completion percentage 2500 yards as for rushing ronald jones and Keyshawn vaughn the problem probably is they can't run the ball at all they needed to re-sign leonard fournette because ronald jones and Keyshawn vaughn are not getting it done scotty miller the number one receiver is looking like right now on the squad mike evans not far behind there and then rob gronkowski with 477 reception yards and cedric wilson with 473 so looking at the buccaneers remaining schedule here they get the Bengals in cincinnati then they're home to the 49ers they do get the falcons twice they get the panthers and saints one more time so they have a lot of division matchups here the falcons go on a losing streak division still in play here it's going to take a lot though for them to win it they need some help for sure but if the nfc south is facing all these tough teams like the buccaneers are then they have a chance okay so now they face the Bengals in cincinnati have to win this one if you're brady Bengals though are a good team this year and they lose. They are now 2-8. and eight. Falcons, though, on a three-game losing streak. The NFC South is looking like the NFC East right now. None of these teams are really that good. Falcons are 5-5. Five and five. Panthers are 4-6. and six. Saints 2-8. and eight. And Buccaneers 2-8. and eight. Have to face San Francisco now. This is a tough team. They're 6-4. and four. Buccaneers are 2-8. and eight. They get a win, though. They are 3-8. and eight. Falcons have lost four in a row. They are 5-6. and six. The division is well in play right now. The wild card, not so much. They are not getting the wild card with 9-8, and eight, even if they win out. They have to beat the Falcons both times they play them. Got to beat the Panthers, beat the Saints. Can they do it? Big divisional matchup right now against the Falcons. Have to win it if you're Brady and they win it. So right now they're third in the division. They're four and eight. Panthers and Falcons, five and seven. And now you get the Panthers right after you beat the Falcons. Big divisional matchup here. 
and they beat the Panthers. So right now they're tied for second in the division. Falcons, Panthers, and Bucks all five and eight. Saints are four and nine. So not the prettiest division, but Tom Brady just wants a chance to get into the playoffs. Okay, Saints, he has not beat them as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer in the regular season yet, and he still can't beat the Saints. That is crazy. So the Panthers lead the division at 6-8, and eight, and I think they hold the tiebreaker over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers right now. I think we're going to jump into a couple of these games because the Bucs might have to win out. We'll see who the Panthers have to face really quickly, but it's going to be tough. They have to win the division. So the Panthers lead the division right now at 6-8. and eight. They get the Browns, the Saints, and the Broncos towards the end. So that's a tough schedule for them. They have to go to Denver. They have to go to New Orleans. And the Browns at home, that's going to be a tough one. As for the Falcons, let's take a look. Well, the Falcons have their last three games here. Falcons get the Rams, Steelers, Buccaneers, which is us, obviously. And we're going to have to win that game week 18 to win the division. If the Panthers fall off a little bit, they'll probably lose to the Rams. They probably could beat the Steelers, but it's going to be tough. And the Bucs, we have to win it. Okay, so that's them. And then the Saints, who hold the tiebreaker over us. Right now, the Saints and the Panthers hold the tiebreaker over the Buccaneers. That's the worst thing about this because they own the tiebreaker over us right now. So we're going to have to be one game better than the Saints and the Panthers. If they fall in second place, we have to be one game better than them because they own the tiebreaker. As for the Falcons, we probably tie with them as long as we beat them in both matchups but we have to be number one in the division by at least one game if we want to win it and the Saints get the Seahawks the Panthers and the Browns and then our schedule is looking like we have the Cowboys who are tough Ravens are tough and we have a division matchup with the Falcons in week 18 so we're going to jump into this game against the Cowboys we're going to simulate it quickly and if there's any key moments we'll jump in so we're going to sim it in super fast mode to start it off because they are 15 minute quarters but if any key moments happen if this gets really close we will jump in and Tom Brady's making a statement right now against the Dallas Cowboys it's 21 nothing after the half the defense also playing amazing on the Cowboys to only three points is now 28 to 3 Tampa Bay and Tampa Bay gets a well-deserved win and a really big win against the Dallas Cowboys so that keeps them in playoff contention so after week 16 Bucks are 6 and 9 Panthers are 7 and 8 they have to lose out and the Buccaneers have to win out if they want again luckily they have the Falcons in week 18 that are on an eight game losing streak right now but we have the Baltimore Ravens that are 9 and 6 in week 17 this is going to be another big matchup Panthers are facing the same they have to lose out. We have to win out. Let's see what happens. This could possibly be Tom Brady's last primetime game of his career. And he's down 10 to nothing. He's going to have to get another big comeback like he's done so many times in his career. It's 10-7 Ravens. Bucks have to win it. We might jump in. I think we're going to jump in. I think we're going to jump in. Ravens. Need a couple first downs here, but no, Tom Brady is going to get the ball back. We're going to jump on the field and see if Tom Brady can get one last clutch drive. Panthers have to lose, though. Have to remember that, but let's see if the Buccaneers can win. Brady needs one last clutch drive in his career, this time against the Baltimore Ravens. Need a field goal to tie. Touchdown to win. Hits his man, Mike Evans, up to the 23. Two minutes, 12 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. They are down three. Brady in the shotgun. That's Ronald Jones next to him over the middle. Scotty Miller, that's caught up to the 43. He has two more plays to pick up this first down to get the game tying field goal at least. Who is he going to? He's going to Mike Evans and almost picked off by Brady. Do they punt this or do they go for it? Could possibly be Brady's last meaningful snap in the NFL. Fourth and eight, need the first down. Brady fires and it's caught. Who is that? I'm not sure. Number 15 on the Buccaneers. That's Cedric Wilson, who was brought up in free agency this year. What a clutch catch. Brady, still a chance to clutch up here and get his team to week 18 in a meaningful game if the Panthers lost. He has a wide open Ronald Jones down to the 40. There goes the Buccaneers first timeout from the Ravens 36. A touchdown will take the lead and leave the Ravens with pretty much no time left towards the sideline. Scotty Miller has been great this drive down to the 20. Brady 25 seconds left in regulation. Empty set looking for that touchdown to take the lead. Wide open. Scotty Miller is all day right now for Brady. And with 11 seconds left, they are going to kick the field goal to hopefully go to overtime here. They could have took one shot to the end zone with with Mike Evans very surprised they didn't but it looks like the Bucks and Ravens are going to overtime second and 10 Ravens get the ball first in overtime they need a touchdown or Tom Brady will have a chance to touch the ball they're gonna run it 
Break tackle. J.K. Dobbins is back. Third and six. Big play for Lamar Jackson. They don't get this. Tom Brady gets a chance to get the ball back. Field goal will win it. Lamar is going to throw here on third and six. He's going to scramble. He fires toward the sideline. He's picked off. Was he inbounds? Dean picks it off. Jamel Dean picks it off. And now Tom Brady needs a few yards for a game-winning field goal. Now Brady just needs a field goal to send his team to week 18 as long as the Panthers lost. The Buccaneers have a chance to make the playoffs and Rob Gronkowski as he goes to his long teammate tight end, Rob Gronkowski. Now they're down to the 37. Brady's X-factored up here in overtime. He fires to Scotty Miller, who has been great this game. They were at the 14. Do they go for the field goal right now? Or do they run some more plays? Brady's going to run some more plays. I imagine they're going to play it safe right here. I would just run the ball with Ronald Jones. Or he's going to motion him out. He's going to pass. All they need is a field goal to win. Not really sure what Madden's doing here, but Tom Brady maybe wants the touchdown for the win. What's he going to do? Throws the ball out of bounds. They should just take the field goal and win. Excuse me, that was second down. This is third and ten. Are they finally going to run the ball? What are the Buccaneers going to do? No, three straight passes. When all they need is some yardage to win the game on a field goal, but I think that's Rob Gronkowski again. That's going to set up the game-winning field goal here to send his team to Week 18 with a chance to go to the playoffs if the Panthers lost. Game-winning field goal here. Why are they running a fake field goal? What is going on? Madden simulations made no sense. They just need a field goal to win. And this is going to be a pick six that ends Tom Brady's career. Tom Brady's done. They win it in overtime with a pick six. Why are they running a fake field goal? Madden, why are you running three pass plays? All you needed was a field goal to win the game. Madden makes no sense. What is the computer doing? Why would they run a fake field goal? A field goal would win the game, but I guess it doesn't matter anyway because the Carolina Panthers did clinch the division and they are going to the playoffs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, regardless if they won that game or not, wouldn't have made the playoffs, but we will see what happens here in Tom Brady's final game against the Atlanta Falcons, his final ever NFL game. I can't even watch it after the heartbreak we just witnessed. But he goes off with a win against the Atlanta Falcons, 31-28. And let's check out Tom Brady's stats in his final year. Second in the league in passing yards, almost 5,000 yards. Seventh in touchdowns, 34th in passer rating there. Almost 5,000 yards, like I said. 63% completion percentage, 34 touchdowns, 20 interceptions. So his touchdown-interception ratio, not that good. They really kind of run the ball well all year receiving-wise. 3,000-yard receivers, and Gronk was Close to being a fourth Evans, Scotty Miller, Cedric Wilson, all over 1,000 yards receiving, and then Gronkowski with 900 yards receiving. But that is going to do it for the final year of Tom Brady's career. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for the video today. In the comments down below, let me know. What do you think about Tom Brady retiring in real life? Are you going to be upset? Are you going to be happy because now maybe your favorite team could win some games? Or are you upset because you're witnessing the end of an era and we're not going to have to go playing football anymore? I, for one, am going to be a little upset. Love watching Tom Brady play every single week. It's it's going to feel weird for the first few weeks of the season next year without Tom Brady playing. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. And make sure to follow me at my social links, which are on the screen for you guys right now. But that's going to do it for me today, everyone. See you all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.